Jerrica, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair review because I love doing hair reviews. Uh, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible because I do know that I'm running on a low battery. Not that you guys care about that. Um, but today's video is going to be on a hair review. So if you guys would like to see what this hair is and where I got it from, then keep watching. going to be on this hair that I'm wearing my head now and what I like about this hair I'm gonna start there I like that it is very full and I like that it is very thick because I love full thick hair now this hair is kind of big so don't buy this hair if you're not looking for something that's super delicious because it is and you will turn heads and I've never I the way that I have it now I've never worn it like this in public because I just feel like I don't, know, I don't even know if I'm ready for the deliciousness that this provides. So I always wore it in the um, top knot bun and even on my vacation I wore it like that. And I did wear it to the center of my head. Now I have the half wig turned to the side a little bit. It seems to be a little bit bigger this way. But on my wedding anniversary I wore it, you know, just regular straight in the middle and it didn't look so big. Um, but I have pictures in the video. I'll make sure to put those in so you can see how it looks regular and how, you look, how it looks in the top of that button. But again, it is big, it is thick. That's what I do like about the hair. I love thick hair because I hate thin wigs. They just look so crappy to me. Um, but this hair, it does shed. I mean, it, it does shed. Um, and I've worn it for about two weeks now, two weeks straight. So the hair is $27, which I'm pretty sure it's a lot cheaper online. So I'm, I'm really coming to the conclusion that I just might start getting my half wigs offline instead of going to my beauty supply store. But I'm the type of girl where if I want a different style, I have to have it like right then and there. Right when I get that craze, I have to go get it. So that's why I'm always at the beauty supply store. But if it's more expensive there, I feel like it may be better for me to just order offline. But then ordering offline, you have expensive shipping. So it's like... So yeah, what I don't like about this hair, like I said, it does shed a little bit, but just a little bit. Like I haven't noticed any major shedding. Now maybe it's just me not paying attention, but like even when I go like this, I, I don't get any shedding. Like no hair comes out. I mean one strand came out. But it's not anything to wear like if I were to run my hands through it in public, I just have like goo gobs of hair because there's just no way that should even be made. Like I don't even know why anybody would even make a wig if you're just going to have it shed so much. But yeah, that's, like I said, the only thing I don't like about this hair is it just sheds a little bit. So that's not even a don't like really because it's not, it's nothing major. Not for me anyway. I don't know about anyone else. Because I did look at reviews on this hair and I found two videos. What is that with the wigs that I want being like two videos or no videos at all? I, I don't understand. Um, but another thing about this hair, it is just like the last Mogan half wig. Just like it. But this half wig is the Laguna Beach half wig. I probably should have said that at the beginning. But it looks just like the last Mogan half wig, even on the cover. Like, I, I went to my beauty supply store to get, um, you know, just a regular half wig. But I happened to see this on a mannequin and I'm like, is that last Mogan? I got really excited. And then I went up on it and I saw that it was this one. And I'm like, the similarities are crazy. It's, it's basically the same thing, except it's a different company. This one's by Model Model. Last Mogan is by Vanessa Hair Company. So it's two different companies and the only difference is I don't think Last Mogan can be worn in a ponytail. I don't think it's drawstring ponytail, but this one is. So you can wear this as a drawstring ponytail as well as wear it the way that I'm wearing it. Which like I said earlier, I have it cocked to the side and my hair is not blended out in the front because I literally just put it like this to do this video. Because it is 1.30 in the morning and I'm going to bed after this. <laughs> So I just literally threw this on because I knew I needed to do a review before this hair gets any more old to the point where it's just so bad to the, and I didn't want to do a video with it looking horrible. So that is this hair. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy it again. Would I feel like being delicious again? Because <laughs> like I said, this hair is really big. But I think next time that I buy this hair, I'm going to wear it off to the side like this, but I'm going to not 
run my fingers through it so much because the more you run your fingers through it, the bigger it gets. And like I said, some people like big hair and I like big hair too. I just don't like huge hair to the point where it like takes over your head. I don't like big hair that makes your head look really small. So if you don't like big, big, big hair, then just don't figure comb it so much. And I, I wouldn't say that I figure comb this a lot because the whole time I've had this hair, I've worn it down once and I've worn it half up in a top knot bun and the rest down. So that's how I've worn it this whole time. And I like it like that. But I'm, I'm also discovering that I like it like this too. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wear it like this tomorrow. I don't know if this is too much for a doctor's appointment, but I not. I don't know. But if you guys like this hair, make sure you comment below and thumbs up. But like I said, I would buy it again, and I haven't really had any major problems with it. It's nice and secure. Has a comb in the front, has a comb in the back. Um, it has a drawstring because you can be wearing it as a ponytail, and I have not worn it as a ponytail, so I can't tell you whether or not if I like that or how it works for me. Um, like I said, there's only two other videos on YouTube with this half wig. But another reason why I like this hair is it kind of mimics virgin, more like Brazilian curly hair. I mean, this is kind of old, so it, like I said, it's, it's old right now, so obviously it doesn't really look like that anymore. But from the camera's point of view, it does kind of look like Brazilian curly hair, but to like the extreme thickness. And it is layered. This wig is layered in the front, it's shorter in the front. If I put all of it, it looks like this, which is a lot of hair a lot and that's probably why I've never worn it like this because it's just so much hair and then I just really don't know what I would do with my life now if I was going out with the girls yes I would definitely wear it like this but just uh, just to go to the store sometimes but just on the average every day I probably wouldn't wear it like this I'd wear it up like I have been wearing but anyway let me just stop rambling so I would wear this hair I would recommend it so if you guys do like it then make sure you comment below and thumbs up and I would say it is a good Brazilian curly hair dupe if you want the look for cheap without spending those prices, but just for a little while. Because like I said, this is synthetic hair, so it does not last forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you stick around for more videos. So I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.